this point, we'd like to invite uh, Kevin Dole from the EnviroSafe Corporation. That's the consulting firm that helped us organize and run today's drill to, uh, to give you folks uh, an idea of uh, what the drill is all about and the process involved there. Thank you. Um, my name is Kevin Dahl. I'm your master exercise controller today. Um, I'm alumnus of WCU, so this place is dear to my heart. I graduated in 84, and I'm always nice to come home, so uh, we appreciate the opportunity to come work with the university. Um, EnviroSafe, we, we was incorporated back in 1996, and we're basically a Homeland Security contractor that does a lot of different um, work with, um, with Homeland Security as far as exercises like this and also public health work with the CDC. And we have some other forensics divisions, et cetera, but um, today your exercise was based around an active shooter uh, scenario, similar to what they had at, at Virginia Tech. Um, this is something that we've done at, at many universities here in North Carolina and also across the country. And we actually do a lot of these exercises internationally as well. So um, the exercise, there was a planning group put together uh, several months ago uh, with several planning uh, meetings that took place with key um, agencies here on campus as well as community partners as well. So through the planning stages we, we come up with a scenario and then we actually uh, put the scenario uh, to test as we did today. Um, we have eight people here today that was evaluating and or controlling. Um, one of our primary focuses during an exercise is for safety. So we have exercise safety officers etc. So that's just a little bit about the exercise design and how that, that piece works. Um, you had a very good exercise today. Um, the one thing that, that I will say that, um, that I noticed that was good is, is the relationship that you have with community partners, uh, with the uh, Jackson County Sheriff's Department, with West Care, um, and certainly that good group from the WCU EMS group, uh, which I used to be a part of when I was here as well. So always nice to see those folks. But they did a really good job. Uh, once the information come in of what they um, what they were dealing with, they set up a field command operation. That field command operation obviously has to talk to the emergency operations center here at the um, at the campus, and certainly to your crisis management group, your policy making um, group, to make some of the critical decisions, um, short term and long term. Um, I can say that in talking just briefly with our evaluators, which they're actually having a debriefing now, hot wash, with all the um, partners in this exercise over at the UC. Um, so I don't have a lot of details from our evaluators, but I will say the, the working relationship with community partners uh, was, was very good. Uh, communications always is one area that we, we take a look at when we're evaluating and certainly we'll take a look at it here. And the communication sometimes is based on um, structure, but also based on technology and what's available from, from that standpoint. Um, you have a lot of agencies to take, take part today. Um, there was a lot of exercise assumptions that we have to put in place because this exercise or this event would probably take about eight hours to respond to, if not longer, in a couple of days for the, um, the investigation. So we, we, uh, we have to, to time stamp, if you will, and do some time jumps in the exercise in respect of time. And we did that today. So everybody worked well together. Um, the, the emergency medical services part of taking care of the, the students that were injured once they were taken out of the threat area, um, it was very good. We thought that they did a very good job there with uh, medical triage. So all in all, I think he had a, had a great exercise. Uh, the importance of these exercises at universities, whether we do them at a university, whether we do them at um, a regular school, or whether we do it at an industry site or what have you, is very important to be able to bring everyone together to understand the critical decisions that have to be made and how that collaborative effort has to take place through an incident command structure. Um, and that's what was uh, being developed and initiated in the field and also within your EOC, I'm sure. So these exercises help, in this case, your university um, to be better prepared for a type of event like this. Indeed, um, with the WCU Police Department responding, understanding what the community um, can commit to resources and understanding what they can't commit and how long it might take to get a commitment from a specialized resource. Uh, exercises test that, and that's what happened today. Uh, through the after action report that we will put together, I think you'll find that um, there are some areas for improvement. 
but there's a lot of areas too, certainly that um, that, that went well today. And that's what is going to be reflected in the after action report. So you can continue dwelling on those and take a look at if you need to make changes in plans or what have you. That's what exercises are for. A lot of times people are, are, are very um, tense before an exercise. Exercises are very stressful. Um, but it's a, it's a good learning experience and what we do with EnviroSafe is we keep it as a learning experience. I can assure you right now with the hot wash going on, there's no finger pointing going on. We do not do that at all. It's a learning experience for everyone to, to see how things work and do them better next time, but expand on what they're doing great now. And we've seen a lot of the greatness, if you will, today. Um, so will there be other drills like this? Absolutely. High Point University is getting ready to do uh, we're doing a large-scale exercise tomorrow at Moses Cone Hospital, or they're deploying one of the state field hospitals there. So North Carolina and all the states that we do work in, North Carolina does a great job with exercising, understanding what the need is, and don't mind going out on a limb to do that. And sometimes, um, you know, it's what it is. It's going out on a limb and exposing yourself to what you can do better, um, etc. And there's no, absolutely, that's, that's the way we have to do it in today's world. So I commend the university for doing that. Um, you've got a great institution here, and uh, just continue what you're doing. We'll be back to do an after-action conference in um, several weeks, and that'll be where all the community partners come in and we go into the detail about the exercise today once we can digest everything and go back and put that report together. So um, again, thanks for the opportunity. Um, be proud of the university. Everybody.